right here. This is the intended usage model of this product. This is the Phantom lap board. I'm sitting on a couch and I have the Phantom lap board where it belongs on my lap. So it is no longer a Phantom, although it does say Phantom on the box because it finally exists. It's finally released. I have a physical lap board now. We've been talking about this product for ages, but here it is. So this is a wireless laser mouse and keyboard combo with a built-in sort of mouse pad surface. The keyboard swivels around. It's got all these great features, but I think probably the best thing to do is take a quick look at the box here and then get it open so we can have a look at it. So here we've got the package contents, which I'm sure you're fully capable of reading. On the back, we've got some outlines of the media functions that it has. So it has 13 media keys, 10 of which are like a FN something else keys. So they've got the, the blue text on them and then three dedicated media keys. Here we've got another general outline of the overall specs. So remember, this is, well not remember, I haven't said it yet, but the intended use of this keyboard is from the couch. So they want you to be able to game, operate the internet, do whatever it is you do on a computer with your media PC from the comfort of the couch. So we've had, we actually had a look at the Vision Tech Candy Board recently, and my overall impressions of that was, this is pretty cool, but if I were actually gonna like sit on, sit on the couch and browse the internet, it wouldn't really be suitable. So this is meant to be the, sort of in between having a dedicated uh, keyboard device that is handheld and using like a regular keyboard and mouse and operating the mouse on the couch beside you. So here, let's have a, let's have a look at the laser mouse, what the cameraman was trying to do. So we've got a glossy white finish on here. There's a black version as well. So we've got a scroll wheel, two buttons, no back and forward buttons. I wouldn't have minded seeing that, but maybe in Rev 2. On the bottom, we've got a power on and power off switch, as well as a battery Oh, I'm not sure how that works. Hold on, there's probably a way to do this. That's cleverer than I am. I bet you push this in and then slide it or something. Okay, well, we'll figure out the battery later. There's a binding key and that's about it. You can see the laser sensors right there. So there's the mouse and then the keyboard. This is the really innovative piece because the reality of it is, you could kind of use it with any wireless mouse that you so desire because, here, I'm gonna go ahead and move the box. They both operate with AA batteries and they estimate about a four month lifetime for the batteries. Here is how it works. I actually don't know how it works yet, but uh, okay, there we go. So the lap board actually sits like this. And then if you're left-handed, you can operate the mouse on this surface right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it down the way that it's intended to be used. So if I'm left-handed, it works like this. But get it, get, get this, wait, there's more, there's more. Okay, so you actually can take the lap board and turn it at any angle you like, including all the way the other way around. So now you can hold it like this, so you can type, which is actually reasonably comfortable, and the keys feel all right. I really like the keyboard layout on this thing. I cheated a little bit before I did the unboxing, but they haven't done anything stupid. Everyone always does something stupid on a keyboard. It's like, this keyboard would be great except it's got a short backspace. Or this keyboard would be great except it has a short shift key. This keyboard is just great. It's compact, it has all the keys that you really need, including dedicated arrow keys. Yes, thank you. It's designed for internet browsing. You've got home, end, page up, page down, dedicated keys. So it's got everything you need to comfortably browse the internet. The tactile response is reasonably good. You got long shift keys that are exactly where they belong, long backspace key, long enter key. I mean, they got everything right. I don't think I've seen a keyboard that's gotten everything right in terms of a standard layout. And I mean, that's the funny thing is standard layout. It's supposed to be standard. It's supposed to be easy. Anyway, here's your media keys. So I'm not sure exactly what all of these do, although I can cheat a little bit and I can pull out the box and we can find out. So F1 is gonna launch Media Center. Okay, that's pretty cool. F2 launches my music and then my photos, my videos, my TV. Uh, you can play back a DVD with a dedicated media key. So it's all about media and games. So this laser mouse, Phantom is saying, is perfectly capable of gaming. You can see the mousing surface. The usable size of it is actually quite large. Like I can go all the way up and down here. I can go all the way side to side until my knuckle brushes the bottom of the lap board. And you can see they haven't cheaped out on the surface. So even though the edge, you can see the edge of the mousing surface 
surface is here. They've used the same material here. So you can actually cheat a little bit if you want to go over a bit further. Mind you, I guess you'd run into that USB dongle pretty quick unless you're really kind of uh, creative about it. So there's the USB dongle. That's also included. So that's a 2.4 gigahertz. So you can see it's a Phantom Model 3000. So that's pretty cool. Plug that into your computer and then press uh, presumably the bind key on the mouse and then I don't know if there's a bind key on the keyboard. We haven't flipped it over yet. So here on the bottom, oh okay this is neat. So you've got two rubber bars all along the bottom of the phantom lap board. So that's going to keep it in place while you're frantically gaming or less frantically doing something else. You can see it's actually quite difficult to slip. You can't see that, but I'm telling you that. It's actually quite difficult to move it around once it's positioned on your lap. Now the overall feel of the keyboard is it does have a little bit of flex. You're not going to get around that. I mean, you, they're creating a hinge device that is basically you know, just using uh, an arm down here to support the whole keyboard. But as long as you're not mashing on your keyboard, you're going to be able to use it quite comfortably. Okay? So you can see once I put a little bit of weight on it and I start typing, it doesn't actually move much even when I'm depressing the keys. So it does not interfere with the typing process. Take my hand off, use this. And let's have a look at the mechanism itself. So, I mean, that's going to sort of be a make or break point for something like this. So. I don't know how, oh, oh, there we go. Oh, okay, I get it. So this piece right here, when you lift it up, see that lock in place? So then to lower the lap board, you just pull, no, push it in and lower it down, and then you can use the lap board without the mouse, should you so desire. And then this, I don't know what this piece does, but okay, here, let's lift it up again. So it only has one setting, which honestly I don't, think that's really very bothersome, but maybe some people wouldn't like that. It's only got the one setting, but the fact that you've got this adjustability, although I'm not sure what some of these settings are actually for. Like maybe if you wanted to sort of hold it at a bit of an angle like this, and then you have maybe you have like kind of a longer right arm and you want to hold it over here. I don't know. Mostly I can see people using it like this or in the left-handed configuration where they turn it around and then use it on the other side. But uh, yeah, I guess I've said pretty much all I want to say about it. This looks pretty cool. I can't wait to try it out. I'll be doing a, a f more full review once I find out, well, how's the wireless signal strength? How comfortable is it to actually sit on the couch and browse the internet or play some games? And uh, overall, my impressions are quite solid. Um, yeah, this looks pretty cool, actually.